The biggest day, the biggest win of his career. Brant Snedeker is the 2012 FedEx Cup champion and tour championship winner. It's a huge honor. It's a validation of something that we as golfers, we need self-belief that you are good enough to compete against the best in the world. Five players came in here who were in the top five, could win with a win. You did it. You've got both of these trophies. Brant Snedeker, the winner in 2012. What Brant Snedeker did to win the Tour Championship and the FedEx Cup is amazing. But to truly appreciate the enormity of his accomplishment, it's necessary to go back almost a year earlier to November of 2011. When surgery to repair a torn labrum in both hips put the start of his 2012 campaign in jeopardy. I was on crushes for six weeks, so I didn't even touch a golf club until the end of December. A rigorous rehab had him back on the course and ready to play in the tour's third event of the year. Palm Springs, my first tournament, I played great, finished ninth out of the gate, which I did not see coming at all. And then to win the next week was just crazy. Just three months removed from hip surgery and with growing confidence, the 31-year-old overcame a seven-shot deficit at the Farmers Insurance Open for his third career victory. I'm just floored right now. Just gotta keep plugging, you just never know. And that never say die attitude has served him well. In three of his four PGA Tour victories, Snedeker has come back from five shots or more to win. I've got kind of an MO of doing this, of being kind of out of it and coming out of nowhere to win. I'm looking forward to having the best year of my career, and I fully believe it's gonna be the best year of my career. He failed to capitalize on that early success as the summer of discontent was heightened after a dismal performance at the year's final major. I left the PGA Championship after missing cut and played terrible. And it was really at a low for a while for the season because that was the last time I could qualify for the Ryder Cup based on points. With the pressure of making the Ryder Cup team looming, Snedeker responded by posting consecutive top tens in the first two playoff events, pushing him into the top five and in control of his own destiny. At the Tour's season finale, with two formidable foes at the top of the standings, once again, the odds were stacked against the nice guy from Nashville. I definitely had a little chip on my shoulder, so uh, I went in there with the attitude that they don't know who I am, they don't know what I'm capable of. I went there with the attitude that I can prove them all wrong, that I can do it. Nice. Oh, gets a little far away. They're gonna watch me do it today. It looks good. Oh, and Brad Snedeker continues to pour these putts in. I'm gonna have a lot of fun doing it. That's in. Look at this. Oh, that's with an exclamation point. Uh, that birdie. Snedeker has risen to the big time. Like all of his wins before, he did what no one thought possible. He beat the odds, proving the naysayers wrong. But more importantly, he proved to himself and the world that he's among the game's best. Until you actually do it, climb that mountain, and win something of that magnitude, you don't really know are you good enough to compete on a weekend, week out basis. The fact that I've done it really is going to give me a lot of motivation, a lot of confidence going forward next year. Now we gotta go find a bigger one and try to go conquer that one.